In today's modern day workplace, um, cybersecurity attacks and threats are more sophisticated. Uh, they're happening more often. Companies are getting breached. It's kind of all over the news. Uh, we're also seeing that the frequency and severity of them are going much, much more uh, into depth of stealing user credentials and, and things like that. What we're also seeing as part of this problem is the trust boundaries moving from kind of the corporate edge now to the cloud um, because people are working from everywhere and anywhere on various devices. We also see that one of the, the, the hardest things to prevent right now is weak passwords. About 75% of all passwords are uh, easy to be able to compromise and they're weak or exploitable and that's really hard to prevent in the modern day of people writing passwords on the bottom of their laptops, notepads, uh, monitors, etc. Um, we also see that you know, with users having access to more devices now, they want access to their corporate data at any time, everywhere, uh, no matter the circumstances. So you know, how do we secure a lot of that data as it's going on to all these trusted and untrusted devices? What used to be called the Enterprise Mobility Suite is now called the Enterprise uh, Mobility and Security Suite. So this makes up of four primary pillars, one of those being around enterprise identity management and protection. Um, so in this case, it's really how do we allow users to log in without having to use a password with single sign-on with credentials of their device. Um, and with things like the modern login, with things like Windows Hello, I can log in with my face, biometrics. Um, I can also add other factors of authentication to ensure that I am actually uh, myself versus a potential intruder. Um, there's also, from an identity perspective, Microsoft has the ability to integrate with about 2,700 different uh, cloud SaaS apps, whether it be NetDocs or Workday, Conquer, Salesforce, Office 365. So the benefit there is we don't have to maintain all these different identity sources. It really allows us to, to have a single control plane, and it's that, that's that thumbprint of you know, Active Directory, which uh, almost everyone has in their environment. The second biggest pillar we see as well is around MDM, mobile device management. So in this case, it's more traditionally, how do I manage a user's device, whether it be a corporate owned device or more commonly, as I talked about, um, BYO, or bring your own device. Um, but in addition, Microsoft has a fairly unique um, uh, go-to-market uh, platform here around Office and mobile Office. Uh, most of your users are likely leveraging Office on their desktops. They also want to leverage it on their mobile devices, and they're really the only one that can provide that unique experience, uh, as well as the ability to secure that data as it exists on those mobile devices as well. Um, the third thing that Microsoft brings to the table with um, enterprise mobility and security is around document protection. So this is primarily the ability to ensure a document is protected no matter where it goes. You know, that budget spreadsheet that the exec has today, if they drop it on a common file share, they drop it on a common directory today, everyone's going to be able to see that. With RMS, we can actually protect something so that no matter where it goes, whether it be Google Drive, whether it be a file share, a home PC, whether a user leaves the organization or not, we can protect that content no matter where it is. We can also track that content via a great document tracking portal as well. And then the last piece um, is, is around threat detection, and this is the kind of the scary one that's out there today. This is called Advanced Threat Analytics, and this is really focused on stealing a user's credentials without it having to be a password. These are the typical attacks we're all hearing about in the market today, pass the hash, pass the ticket. Um, but what we also do is the ability to look for abnormal logins uh, via machine learning. So we actually behave, you know, look at user behavior and understand what's normal and then what's not normal. So all these pieces really make up that enterprise mobility suite. And again, the story is great around enterprise security. Um, and I think it's got a common misconception. So um, you know, really, all this suite is focused on securing your users, no matter where they are, no matter what, what device they're on.